This, whether you know it or not, is your key to unlocking a perfect life. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and you walk with Him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here, and these messengers are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. The Holy Ghost is a God of words. Say that. The Holy Ghost is a God of words which should reveal to you okay well this is why I walk with him by saying words he's a God of words yes. he gives you words to say and when you say them that's you walking with him if you're not saying them you're not walking with him mm -hmm. people don't like it that plain but that's how plain it is I know I've tried walking in other ways this way works mm -hmm. say this way works. this way works if you don't say the words he gives you then you're trying some other way this is the word of faith which we preach the word is nigh thee in thy mouth right the first place it needs to be say the first place it needs to be, the first place it needs to be. is in my mouth, in my mouth. right what the word of God mm -hmm. that's how you walk with God so he's a word God he uses words but he gives us words to use now I've covered this well in many other messages and I'll put some links down below if you're new here but we can take scriptures that are his word given to us and if I begin to say them especially the promises of God mm -hmm. then those things will do work for me mm -hmm. what if I don't say them then they don't do nothing right those words on your lips do the work what words his words his promises by Jesus stripes I was was healed on your lips will heal you of any sickness or any disease say any sickness, any sickness. Or, any disease. or any disease my God shall supply all my need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus those words on your lips will supply all your need according to his riches and glory Amen. those words on your lips do the work I've been preaching on this we have many other messages on this you're learning how to use the words it take, it's a process take some time especially if you've never been taught this before but it is effectual the word on your lips does effectual work mm -hmm. not imaginary work it actually does things yeah. in the same way that we use those words say those words, those words. that we've been talking about we have another set of words that the Holy Ghost gives us which is the point of this message tonight I'm going to be talking about another set say another set. another set another set of words that the Holy Ghost gives us what are we supposed to do with these words the Holy Ghost gives us speak them this is how the Holy Ghost does it in fact this is the first thing when the Holy Ghost came into the earth he gave them the ability to speak these words I'm talking about to be able to speak in other tongues as he gives you utterance mm -hmm. what's he giving you words mm -hmm. words to speak unknown to you they're not unknown known to him but unknown to you you're speaking them forth so think of this with the knowledge that we have about the power of words and the power of spoken words for its ability to do something to you and transform your life think about this speaking words that someone is giving you that you don't know what they are you must have a lot of faith in this person mm -hmm. that's giving you prompting you to say these words because you're saying something and you have this knowledge that it does something to your life say it does something, it does something to, my to my life but you're allowing someone else to give you the words to say you're still the one saying them so how much faith do you have in that person mm -hmm. a lot then this is what pleases him it takes faith to speak in other tongues mm -hmm. and you're speaking them in faith 
not knowing what they mean you must have some faith in this Holy Ghost mm -hmm. I hope you know him more from being here for a while well this is the ultimate form of trust especially to a faith God who gives who who works with words and gives you words to speak mm -hmm. it's literally the first thing he did when he came into the earth he could have picked anything right he's God mm -hmm. he could have come into the earth and made everybody twitch and if they twitched in a specific way you'd know you had the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. when he comes into your life mm -hmm. say when he comes into my life he, comes into my life. he gives me the ability to speak, to speak as, he gives as he gives utterance it's so genius this guy must be God to come up with that because we know the power of speaking words and he's giving you words to speak beyond say beyond beyond, beyond your understanding and there's a reason for it we'll get into that isn't this good Acts chapter 2 verse 1 and when the day of Pentecost was fully come they were all with one accord in one place and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind and it filled the house where they were sitting verse 3 and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire and it sat upon each of them verse 4 and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and twitched wildly They might have but it's not that's not what it says and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began say began yeah. that means they ended no. no they began to speak in tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance this was the beginning they began to speak as he this whether you know it or not is your key to unlocking a perfect life now remember he is perfection what kind of words do you think he's giving you sad on perfect words no they're perfect words if you learn to speak them correctly a lot of people just don't learn how to develop their prayer language and continue say continue, continue. that's what that's what began implies is continuance these words you're speaking remember are not unknown to God they're unknown to you it's beyond your understanding so there's a lot more going on when I'm speaking in other tongues than just me making up words I'm speaking as he gives me utterance and it's beyond my understanding it's beyond my intelligence and it's certainly beyond what I know that I might even need in the future mm -hmm. it's a perfect language and I've got news for you you're not perfect mm -hmm. who is perfect he is every good gift every perfect gift comes down who came down perfect mm -hmm. Holy Ghost I call you perfect say that right now Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I call you perfect you know how much he likes that he loves that continue so these words you're speaking are unknown to you meaning you don't really know what you're saying but they're not unknown to him and it's one way that he is able to speak into your life beyond what you know can you testify to this yes. many times you'll know a few things about what to pray for we're not completely ignorant sometimes it looks like it but we're not completely ignorant we know some things to pray for the Bible tells us specifically some things to pray for but we don't know how to fill in all the gaps mm -hmm. right we don't know how to make what we do know how to pray for perfect mm -hmm. who does mr. perfect are you here so in order to have a perfect life is this any good yeah. Yeah. say I would like a perfect life, I would like a perfect life. Yeah. but if you're going to get into a perfect life you're going to have to speak and say some things that you know not of yet we're calling for perfection say when I speak in other tongues, when I speak in other tongues I'm calling, I'm calling for, for perfection, perfection. 
so you're calling for things say things, things that are beyond your understanding or beyond your comprehension does that make sense mm -hmm. Romans chapter 8 verse 26 likewise who the spirit. the spirit also helpeth our infirmities the word infirmities mean I mean the, the ba most basic word there is sicknesses but it also means weakness it means lack it means inability mm -hmm. likewise the spirit also helpeth our inability for we know not what we should pray for as we ought so even if we did know what to pray for I'm to pray for healing I'm to pray for prosperity I'm to pray for my relatives mm -hmm. I'm to pray but I might not know how to pray for as I ought likewise the Spirit helps but the Spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered and the words here means inarticulate speech or in your own language if you could utter it in your own language you already would have uttered it mm -hmm. he that searches the heart knows what is the mind of the Spirit because he makes intercession for the Saints according to the will of God and we know that all things work together for good that's perfect my friend all things say all things, all things. working together working. for good okay. we can see here is the Holy Ghost giving you words that you can speak praying things that you didn't know about you don't know about everything even the things you know about you don't really know the fullness of it he knows more than you do you don't know how to do things that you nest should know how to do that would be an infirmity in this scripture so we do know something of the will of God but he fills in the gaps of our lack of knowledge with his words his words when you're praying in tongues or speaking in tongues you're punching well above your own weight you're using words that come from the Holy Ghost you're punching say I'm punching, punching. Well, well above my weight which means you're gonna have manifestations greater than what you could have on your own mm -hmm. the Bible says in Ephesians 3 20 that he is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you ask or think mm -hmm. you see where we're talking what we're talking about tonight because I have some things a lot of people aren't gonna like but I'm gonna say them anyway now I'm gonna give you some insight into the Holy Ghost his person his personality the way he does things you understand we've come up to this place now we've used words we're now using his words and through his words we're punching well above our weight that we couldn't do on our own mm -hmm. and you've never heard anybody say these things I'm gonna say the more I irritate some people the more I bless other people mm -hmm. and I'm telling you you've never heard I've never heard anybody say it before I've never heard the Holy Ghost say it before he said to me pay me say that pay me, pay me. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 1 ho everyone that thirsts come ye to the waters and he that has no money come ye buy say buy buy and eat yea come buy say buy, buy buy wine and milk without money and without price buy literally means there's a transaction being made you're giving something to receive something you're buying it he didn't just say come up here and beg he didn't say come up here and I'll give you he said to buy it who wrote this scripture by the way Holy Ghost oh you know don't criticize me when I tell you he said pay me he's saying the same thing in this verse of scripture pay me the fact is you make advancements by paying prices prices of obedience prices of praying in tongues prices of mostly saying words say mostly Mostly. saying words Same. and you pay up front you don't like this message well you don't have to like this message I'm telling you what the Holy Ghost is saying to you pay him and if you pay him up front 
he'll give you anything you want if you pay him is he a just God so that he's just in the capacity and way that he will give you what you paid him yes are you here I'm, tr I'm trying to set this up because this this gets better say this gets better, this gets better. Gets better. no really <laughs> am i a just god he says is he mm -hmm. psalms 145 verse 17 the lord is righteous in all his ways and the word righteous there in many other translations says the lord is just in all his ways so am i not a just god meaning if you pay him he will give you the thing you paid for just trying to establish this is he a just God yes he is a just God what do you want from the Holy Ghost because he has that he has that and to you he says pay me now hold on. I'm telling you this sounds this sounds ridiculous because you've never heard it before you want that pay me he will give you that thing he's not unjust that he will leave that payment sitting there without the thing given to you this should make somebody happy mm -hmm. Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 1 a false balance say balance, balance is abomination to the Lord but a just weight is his delight another translation says a false balance is despised of the Lord he despises it who are we talking about the Holy Ghost he despises an unequal balance and people say oh yeah this is talking about this is just talking about you know dealings in the marketplace well we're talking about buying right. something right <laughs> he despises it he abhors it he it's an abomination to the Lord if the balance is unjust I'm telling you some things about the Holy Ghost he despises an unjust balance so if something is out of balance with him he doesn't like it but he's gonna fix it Proverbs chapter 16 verse 11 a just weight and balance are the Lord's I mean that's right up his his alley right he wants it that's what he wants an unjust balance he despises an equal balance say an equal balance, equal balance. Is, the is the Lord's that's his deal say that's his deal, that's his deal. Proverbs 20 23 diverse weights are and what abomination to the Lord and a false balance is not good it's the same word despise he despises it mm -hmm. talking about the Holy Ghost some insight into who he is and how he does things yes. Proverbs chapter 20 verse 10 diverse weights and diverse measures both of them alike abomination to the Lord he despises it he hates it you understand that's what that means he hates it he can't stand it mm -hmm. I can't stand you he sees it can't stand it can't take it won't won't have anything to do with it D did we establish that yeah where are you going I'll show you where I'm going Luke chapter 6 38 says with what measure you meet it shall be measured to you you're meeting a measure it's being met to you same thing in, in Matthew chapter 7 verse 2 and other verses of Scripture what measure you meet it shall be measured to you are you seeing what's happening here a just way an equal balance must be there mm -hmm. Matthew chapter 6 says when you fast you will be re rewarded openly mm -hmm. when you pray you shall be rewarded mm -hmm. when you give you shall be rewarded do you see what's happening here yeah. you're paying and then there's a reward why is there a reward because the balance is out of kilter now the Lord must make the balance straight say the Lord, the Lord must, must make, make the balance straight he has to do it 
listen he has to do it I'm not oh you're trying to force him I don't have to force him to do it he has to do it mm -hmm. in his own person who he is he despises that that thing is out of balance I remember one time I was this is I mean this was so many years ago it was ridiculous I was in this restaurant we just finished eating and there was a large group of people over on the other side and they were all sitting around you know ordering their meals and whatnot and this picture on the wall behind them picture on the wall and it was cockeyed and it had bugged me the entire time I'm sitting down there so I finally went all right as we we're getting ready to leave I just walked over and I I adjusted it and set it back and one of the guys at the end of the table seemed like you know the patriarch of that large group of people he goes you know what you're hired and I was like thank you it bugs him a weight out of balance bugs him are you seeing this so your job is to upset the balance your job is to upset the balance are you hearing this I hope you are you put your finger on the scale better you put your tongue on the scale make a good image right your words tip the balance say my words, my words. Tip, tip the balance, the balance. you listen you cannot pray in tongues for an hour and not have him correct the balance listen you cannot pray in tongues for an hour and not have him correct the balance are you here oh you're trying to get him to do so i don't have to try to get him to do anything all i have to do is tip the balance in my favor pay me he says when you do your tip when you do you're tipping the balance what happens he corrects it mm -hmm. he has to mm -hmm. it's who he is he's got to straighten it out mm -hmm. i think a lot of people got that praying in tongues tips the balance speaking promises of god tips the balance you're paying him with your words you're tipping the balance with your tongue using the words I worship you Holy Ghost only tips the balance are you seeing this mm -hmm. Psalms chapter 118 let's look at verse 5 I called upon the Lord in distress in distress means in a tight place say in a tight place, in a tight place. you know it could have been a tight place of sickness could have been a tight place of you ever been in those tight places mm -hmm. ah they're no fun tight place of lack whatever it happened to be I called upon the Lord in distress in a tight place the Lord answered me and set me in a large place in the large place obviously you're out of that tight place mm -hmm. the word called upon here I looked it up it literally means to read out loud or to vocalize but in any way in any way you interpret it it means to speak and then it says I called upon I say upon right mm -hmm. the Lord and the Lord answered me the Lord paid back what was said he answered the balance he was saying certain things saying certain scriptures and the Lord answered the balance of the weight of those scriptures Does this making sense yes. had to That's how God works are you getting this mm -hmm. Acts chapter 10 verse 1 and there was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius a centurion of the band called the Italian band I'm assuming they were pretty good <laughs> Italian band right probably had a restaurant played on the weekends <laughs> Cornelius a centurion of the band called the Italian band a devout man and one that feared God with all his house which gave say gave yeah. gave much alms to the people and prayed say prayed, prayed. to God always 
what's going on here he's tipping the scale isn't he yeah. and later on it talks about he was actually fasting during this period of time too so he was fasting he was worshiping God he worshiped God with all his house later on he says that he goes I was worshiping God about this hour mm -hmm. right worshiping God praying always giving alms and fasting he was tipping the scale mm -hmm. what's the Holy Ghost gonna do about that he can't stand it he's got to do something here's Cornelius Gentile verse 3 and he saw in a vision evidently about the ninth hour of the day an angel coming in to him and saying to him Cornelius and when he looked on him he was afraid and said what is it Lord and he said unto him thy prayers and thy alms are come up for a memorial before God and then he tells him what to do and he gets saved he gets filled with the Holy Ghost and he becomes the first person of the Gentiles to come into the gospel mm -hmm. are you here yes. why him he tipped the scale and the Holy Ghost had to do something about it yes. say when I tip the scale, tip the, scale the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost has, to has to do something, do something about, it. about it it's who he is I'm not forcing him to do anything that's him doing it are you getting this mm -hmm. yes. the tipping of the scales he called unto the Lord and the Lord answered him set him in a large place are you getting this I hope you're getting it now we know what to do right daily we can begin tipping the scale daily we can begin changing things because we're causing the scale to be tilted in our favor we're paying him and he will repay us let me pray for you Holy Ghost in Jesus name I thank you that people have heard this message and as they begin says the Spirit of the Lord to pay me the things that I require I shall surely come and visit them and make those things disappear that were bad and turn all things into good and the perfect life shall come knocking at your door if you will learn how to serve me with your words and I thank you Holy Ghost for it bless these people in Jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I thank you I thank that you are a just God, are a just God. And, as I give and as I give into your kingdom, into your kingdom I'm tipping the balance God. in my favor and so shall you, so shall you come forth God. and rise up to my rescue and make all things good in Jesus name amen the father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth today